Now we are going to the AC blocks manufacturing plant. Your destination is on the right. This is the AAC blocks manufacturing plant. First I want to tell you what are the ingredients used in manufacturing the AAC blocks. First one is fly ash. As you know very well it is a byproduct from the coal. Next one is gypsum. It acts as a retarder. Next one is the cement. Next one is the aluminium powder. It plays a main role in manufacturing AHC blocks. Next this is the soluble oil. Next one is lime. First fly ash is conveyed through a belt conveyor. You can see the belt conveyor. This is the belt conveyor. See the working process and this fly ash is fed into that chamber you can see here the water also mixed then both fly ash and water are mixed and pumped into a another chamber which is of funnel shaped you can see next the cement and lime powder are conveyed through a pipes you can see at the bottom These are conveyed through these two pipes and fed into a another cylindrical shaped chamber. You can see one is a funnel shaper, another is a cylindrical shaped chamber. These two chambers, one is fly ash water and next cement and lime. These four are mixed in another chamber cylindrical shaped you can see by the operator. While mixing process is going on, here the molds are preparing. Oil is applying by a worker to the sides of the inner sides of the mold to prevent the sticking of the material into the inner surfaces. Five minutes later, aluminium powder is added. Next, the slurry is poured in the mold. This process is called casting. After adding the aluminium powder, it starts a chemical reaction between the materials. Uh, it results in expanding the quantity of the material uh, by forming the air bubbles inside. That is the reason why AAC blocks are having low density than water. Next molds are moved into another truck and allowed to set for two and a half hours. Next process is cake cutting. This whole cake is first cut in horizontal direction, later in vertical direction. And while cutting the while in cutting process, that company trademark and texture to the side surfaces will be done in this process. The waste if any part of the material fails by breaking while cutting operation, then it is recycled. See this stage is cutting. Cutting is done by machines so it comes neatly and also uh, texture to the surface will also come very neatly. Here in this process uh, it will be done. If any block fails it will be recycled here. But after heating if the block fails it, it's not easy to recycle again here.
Next, the blocks are moving for the final operation, which is autoclave. See, this is the autoclave machine. You can see, and here the blocks are placed. This process is done for hardening the blocks and these are heated up to uh, at 180 degrees celsius and also steam curing is done uh, and the steam is applied at a pressure of 12 kg per centimeter square uh, I'll tell you how the steam is formed now This is the process of preparing the steam. Here, the wooden blocks are used uh, to, and these are burnt to create the steam. See the wooden blocks. See the burning chamber here. These results in a steam. You can see over there. blocks before heating and after heating see these are the AC blocks after coming from the autoclave this block size is 2 feet by 10 inch by 9 inch and there are different size of blocks and different uh, sizes it depends upon the wall which you are using for your building see this block size is 2 feet by 10 inch by 6 inch And also quantity of materials to be added to create to make this product it depends upon the manufacturer it varies from plant to plant it mainly depends upon the owner so now the blocks are ready to sell in the market